guys, it's Melly, and I'm back to film my April favorites. The first thing I'm going to talk about is my Marc Jacobs 204 The Starlet Palette. I know a lot of people talk about how much Marc Jacobs costs and all of this jazz, but for the price, I love these eyeshadows. I really don't care. Jasmine Lynn. So, hi guys, I'm sorry. But as I was saying, I really don't care because I am absolutely in love Market Jacobs eyeshadows. I think they are awesome. They are by far some of my favorites. I just got his new palette, The Siren, that came out. I wear this eyeshadow all of April. It's one of my favorites, and I'll wear it again. The uh, second one is Marc Jacobs as well. And I just love, love Marc Jacobs eyeshadows. They are some of my favorite. And this is 202 The Tees. And I just love this palette. It's a great palette for fall because there's a lot of uh, purples in here. And more dark tone color eyeshadows. Just great shadows for fall. I absolutely love these shadows. Um, then I'm, uh, my next favorite that I wore for April was the Heartgram uh, blush by Kat Von D. I just love, love, love this blush. It's one of my favorites, and I just am so happy I got it. The next thing is also by Kat Von D. It's her Poetica palette. I wear this for April as well. I just love her purples, her coppers, her browns. She just does them so well. And this is such a beautiful palette to own. It's one of my absolute favorites. And I wear it a lot, believe it or not. Then the one palette that I've been wearing all of April is the Monarch palette by Kat Von D. I have both the Chrysalis and the Monarch, but I really love the Monarch, especially Kat Von D's um, clay tones, copper tones. Those are some of my favorite. I, I just love her coppers and her golds and her yellows. They are some of my favorites, and these are some of my favorite colors, especially this one right here. Just love, love, love these colors. Another thing that I've been, um, I used for most of April was my Physician's Formula Pearl as a highlighter. I really love this. It's been one of my favorites. It's just awesome. It's really great. Um, also, for bronzer, I've been using my Too Faced Soleil bronzer since the day I bought it. I've been bronzing with this for most of April. It's now my favorite bronzer. It smells like chocolate, like the Too Faced uh, chocolate bar, which I just pulled that out. So I'm hoping that will be my May favorites because I pulled that out to wear this week. I just love, love this palette. It's been one of my favorites since the day I bought it. Um, my first high-end palette that I ever own is my Urban Decay Naked 3 palette. I love this palette, especially dust, which you can see right there. I took a big chunk out of. I just love, love this palette. It's my first palette I ever own. It's Urban Decay. It's just amazing. I can't say how much I love this. I wanted to do two of my favorites, but these are not April favorites, but I'm just going to throw them in anyway since I saw them laying here and I pulled them out to use them again. One of my favorite palettes that is in an affordable price range, it's absolute favorite, Jasmine Lynn, please stop using that tape. Thank you very much. One of my favorite, favorite eyeshadow palettes I ever own is uh it's judy time it's just judy time palette from bh cosmetics and as you can see i really really loved this palette when i first got it which was in december i used all of this all of december all of january and it's just one of my favorite palettes it's on bh cosmetics i think it's 11.95 right now if i'm not mistaken it's 11.95 it's just Favorite, favorite, all-time, all-time palette. I love this palette. And it's originally $14.95. So even if you can't get it for like the $11.95, it's still a great deal. For $15, bucks. it's just a great hot palette. And it's vegan. Um, oh, no, cruelty-free. BH Cosmetics is cruelty-free. I love, love their makeup. I just recently purchased another order from them. Great for their price. Just awesome, overall awesome pr value. And it's like you're getting high-end products for a uh, drugstore price. 
I just love, love BH Cosmetics. Um, and especially It's Judy, just Judy time. I love, love her stuff. So. One of my favorite blushes I did use here in April is my Sephora Pantone Universe blush, which is with the lilac purple. This this blush is intensely pigmented. It's so beautiful, though. I just love it. I can't put it away. I keep going back for it. Even when I think I'm not going to use it, I grab it. It's crazy. Um, then I have been using uh, for for my um, foundation for most of April. I was using either the Big Easy by Benefits or... Kat Von D's Lock It Foundation in 45, Light 45. These have been my two foundations for April. I just absolutely love, love those foundations. Um, my two mascaras for April have been uh, Too Faced Better Than Sex. I've been using this mascara since I, the day I got it. It's just one of my favorite mascaras. When I don't know what to, what mascara to wear for that day, I grab my Too Faced. Um, then Kat Von D Sinful Lash. I got this um, in March, I believe. This is just one of my favorites. I just love, love, love that uh, mascara. My D Slick Spray by Urban Decay, which is almost gone, and I'm going to have to splurge and get the $30 bottle because I know I'm going to use this all summer because this helps keep your makeup set when you're oily. And I get super oily. Like, I have oil, um, combo skin. I'm drier in the wintertime, and in the summertime, I'm, oh, my God, oil. Like, oil. It's crazy. Um, so this is going to be actually just one of my favorite sprays and I'm going to have to spurge and buy the big bottle. One of my favorite, um, daily br a blush, a brush cleaner. I use this to spot clean my brushes all the time. It's by e.l.f. It's three bucks. I love this. I stock up on this whenever I can. It's one of my favorite brush sprays ever, ever. Um... My favorite primer was my Too Faced pore, Prime and Poreless and also the Baby Skin Primer. I was using that all of April. I just love those primers. They have been my favorite primers. Um, out of all the primers I've tried, these have been absolute favorite, other favorites. I love them. I keep going back to them constantly. Baby Skin is $6. It works Great. It, it actually works better, in my opinion, than the Too Faced um, Prime Poreless Primer. But I love this primer, and this was a splurge. So I just absolutely love this. Um, and then what else did I want to include? My favorite brushes are my Real Technique brushes all the time, constantly, nonstop. Uh, my other bronzer for the month has been... Um, uh, Physicians Formula Light to Medium Bronzer. I absolutely love their bronzer. I'm addicted to their bronzer. Let me spray. I spray my bottle spray. Oh, this has been my favorite spray for the month. Twilight Woods by um, Bath and Body Works. I can't use their ba uh, their bath um um soap because I'm allergic to it. I just found out, but this has been my favorite spray. Uh, let's see, my favorite lipsticks for the month have been, oh, my favorite concealer has been NYX, uh, HD concealer. I bought this, when I first bought it, I bought it light, I love the light so much that I went back, got it in yellow to, uh, help with my under eye, and then I also have it in, uh, fair, um, to brighten up my eye. My favorite lipstick has been, uh, Tarte's, uh, Butter Lipstick, which is in Plummy. I just love, love this lipstick. It's one of my favorites. For some reason, I keep calling this Too Faced, but it's by Tarte. It's one of my favorite butter lipsticks I own. Um, another bu favorite butter lipstick I own is by NYX, which is in Hubba Bubba. I love NYX Butter Lipsticks. These are awesome. Um, one of my favorite high-end lipsticks that I keep going back and reusing is my Kat Von D FTW lipstick, which is like a metallic cranberry. Here's a swatch of it. I just love this lipstick. The only thing about this lipstick, it smells like lipsticks back in the day. Like cosmetic type lipsticks.
Sorry, I have a sunburn, so I'm, I think I get a little bit of a sunstroke today. So that's why I'm drinking water to replenish myself. But this has been one of my favorite lipsticks. The thing is, it smells like the old lipsticks back in the day. Like the cosmetic smelling lipsticks. You know, you guys know what I'm talking about. If you use lipstick long enough, like it's crazy. But I love it. It's, it reminds me of the lipstick my grandma used to wear. Another thing is, uh, my favorite thing, not that it's bad lipstick. It's not bad. It's just the way it smells. It's crazy. Um, is my jumbo eye pencils uh, in lavender, which is 614 by NYX. And then the other one, which is the Malk, which is 604 by NYX. I love, love these pencils. They have been my favorite for um, helping my eyeshadow stay in place and for just giving me a light base, especially with my purples. This one, the lavender one, makes my purples pop like you would not believe. I just love it, love it. Um, another thing that I absolutely love and I keep going back to, but I've had to shop around in this and find one that works really well for my skin um to treat excuse me to treat my under eye dark circles this is the instant age rewinder and neut neutralizer which means it it um helps treat dark circles like if you have really bad dark circles like i do which is hard to hide this neutralizes the dark circles so that's what that basically is it's um helps cancel out the dark circles so that's been one of my favorites. Uh, my favorite eyeshadow primer is Too Faced. I've been going to this a lot all of April. I just love, love, love my Too Faced primers, eyeshadow primer. I really love I um Too Faced for their primers. They are great at their primers and their mascaras. Oh my god. I've had hit and misses with their eyeshadows, but I love, love, love and over the moon with their primers and their bronzers. I want one of their blushes so bad, but I haven't for some reason something just keeps stopping me. I haven't found a blush by Too Faced that I want bad enough to actually go pay $30 for. And I know that sounds crazy with all the high-end makeup I have, but that's just how I am. Um so I, I got a, a lot of lipstick in the store. And this lipstick, none of my makeup is old because I'm new to makeup. I'm 29. I'm new to makeup. So all of it's like brand utterly stinking new. And so I'm just trying to um, wiggle out the makeup I want and fit it into my life and keep going to that makeup. Um, yet at the same time, I want to try new makeup and just keep going and going and going. I'm addicted to it now. It's crazy. I've never been like this with makeup. My sisters now come to me. Like, they used to be the makeup. My middle sister used to be the makeup queen. She used to buy nothing but cover girl and love makeup. Now she comes to me. She's like, Mel, can I borrow some of your makeup? I'm like, you know, when did this change? Like, when did I become the makeup freak? Um, another thing has been my setting powder and light 45 by Kat Von D. I have loved this powder. It's my holy grail because it's a splurge powder. I usually use cover girl powder, but I love, love this powder and I'm going to buy it again when it runs out. I seriously am. And then my next thing is my hourglass, um... Diffuse Heat um, Blush. I have loved this blush all April since I've gotten it. I love it so much that I actually went out and splurged on the Hourglass. And it's crazy. I'm saying splurge because I... It's crazy to say splurge for me because I bought the Marc Jacobs palette. I own the new Marc Jacobs palette. Like, I've spent money on Marc Jacobs. And Marc Jacobs, I believe, is like the most expensive thing in my whole entire collection. But, I'm calling this a splurge item. So, that's why I'm laughing because it's crazy. I got the th three... Um, the dim light, incandescent light, and radiant light powders by Hourglass. I got the three, the trio for fifty-eight dollars, and I think it's worth the price, and it's and it's a great value because one is forty-five dollars, and then you get three of them for fifty-eight dollars. Absolutely love, love this. It's been one of my favorites since I bought it. So um, yeah, the diffuse heat. I love this hourglass um, blush. It's one of my favorites as well. 
And so I think that's all I have for you for my favorites for April that I really want to discuss. Um, oh, one more thing I want to add is baby lips. I love my baby lips. This is my new um, lip treatment addiction. It's one of my favorites. It's great. I just love, love this. Um, so that's beauty related. Um, my favorite YouTubers, which is kind of beauty related. My favorite YouTubers have been for April, which means I pick a, a YouTuber or YouTubers that I binge on and love and just fall in love with. And my favorite have been the Glam Moms, Jen and Rochelle. Rochelle. Hope I'm pronouncing that right. Jen and Rochelle for the month of April. I just want seriously on a binge with those ladies. I love them. They're so amazing. They've been so supportive to me. They're just awesome. Steela Kiss 33 has been one of my favorites since I started watching her. I love that girl's personality. She's just a sweetheart. She's just awesome. Super. Um, I also love um, Young and Wild Polish for the month of April. My kids love her. Um, so I love them all. They're awesome. I have a whole list below of all the wonderful ladies I watch on YouTube who have, oh, excuse me, who are talented, who are awesome. But those three have been my April favorites and continue to meet my favorites because they're so great. Um, my favorite authors for April have been, um, Marie Hall and Minx Malone. I just love their books. Marie Hall wrote the Kingdom series, which is a really twisted adult look on fairy tales like Alice in Wonderland, Beauty and the Beast, that type of thing. So, Marie tends to, um, her fairy tales tend to be about the bad guys. Like Captain Hook, um... Uh, uh, the bad guy from Beauty and the Beast, uh, Gerard, or Gerard, I can't remember his name. Um, she, she wrote one for Mad Hatter. She's just done so many of them. It's, she's just awesome. I love them. She, she's great at what she does, and they're just awesome. Minx does the Alexander series, Minx Malone. I love her series. It's about a family, and I tend to like... Um, I, when I was younger, I used to read a lot of romances all at once. It didn't matter what they were. And then as I got into my teen years, I started reading series books because I just love continuing on with the family. So I tend to like books that are about the same people or same general group of people that are just awesome. Um... So those are my April favorites. My TV shows have been wrestling. I've been addicted to Hulu, Daria. I just love Daria. So that's just been my favorites for the month. Um, Hunger Games was my favorite movie of April. The second Hunger Games, the one that was just recently released. And then Mr. Banks. I really haven't been a movie theater person the last um, six, seven months. I don't know why. I just don't feel like getting up and going to the movie theaters. It just hasn't been my thing. Um, so I wait generally for all the new movies to come out on DVD and then I watch them, which is five months after they've been in theaters, after everybody else has seen them, all that good jazz. But that's how I've been lately. So, um, I do write a blog sometimes. If I get a chance, it just depends on how it goes with my life. I'm so super busy. Um, so I hope you all have a great day. Enjoy this um, video. Please like and subscribe if you like my channel. Thank you. And uh, again, I'm sorry that my favorites are always super long. So have a great day. Peace, love, and enjoy the day. And happy Mother's Day, ladies. Bye.